One of the reasons four-wheel driving in Australia is so entertaining is because there are so many different terrains to take on. When it comes to low-range challenges, few are as rewarding as driving rocky, rutted tracks. But while they might look intimidating at first, I'm going to let you in on a couple of secrets to drive these tracks like a pro. I'm Graham Kale from Four Wheel Drive Action and I'm here today with an Isuzu D-Max. I'm going to give you some proven driving techniques that is sure to help out even on the toughest of tracks. Let's talk ruts first because they would be the most common off-road challenge you'll come across. Ruts such as this one right here will really cause you to struggle if you don't tackle them correctly. It's all about keeping your four-wheel drive as level as possible. If you drop a wheel down into the rut, the diagonally opposite wheel will lift, causing that wheel to spin and of course lose traction and the vehicle to become unstable. You don't want that. If this happens, slowly back out of the rut until you get all four wheels back on the ground and then take another line. The traction control system installed in the Isuzu D-Max will apply gentle brake pressure to any wheels that lose traction, giving you better control of the vehicle in slippery situations just like this. Generally, the idea is to keep up and out of the ruts, because this will offer the most underbody clearance, but sometimes you've got no choice. When it's muddy and it looks like you'll just slide down into the rut, that's where you should start, as that sudden slide has the potential to cause a vehicle to roll over. When it comes to rock driving, it's vitally important that you understand where your lowest underbody components are before you get on the track. I'm talking things like spring hangers, transfer cases, or in the case of the D-Max that I've got here today, it's the diff. These Isuzus are well protected with steel underbody protection as standard on all 4x4 models only. The key really is to go as slow as you possibly can. You see rocks offer a great deal of traction, which means you don't need to rush things. If you hear something scraping, stop and assess the situation before you scrape yourself into more trouble than it's worth do a lot of damage to your four-wheel drive. Don't be afraid to throw a few rocks in holes here or there to keep your wheels level and your undercarriage clearance up. It's a trick that'll work on any track. There you go. Not too many people would think that a stock standard four-wheel drive directly off the showroom floor like this Isuzu D-Max could conquer a track like that without doing any damage, but you've just seen it for yourself. Look for more four-wheel drive tips and to stay in touch with the Isuzu owner events, why don't you head across to the iVenture Club website at iVentureClub.com.au. I'm Graham Cale, I'll catch you out on the tracks, eh?